I'm going to show you in this video how Frepol and Odoo interact together. So I'm assuming here that I'm a manufacturing planner and I need to know what has to be done next on the shop floor. My entire supply chain has been modeled into Odoo, products, bill of materials, routings, work centers, and uh, I also have my transactional data on hand, confirmed POs, etc. So I'm going to switch to Frepol. And in Frepol, I'm going to go to the execute menu. I'm going to read all the data from Odoo and generate a supply plan. So I'm going to launch this. So what is Frepol going to do? Frepol is going to read all the data from Odoo and is going to generate manufacturing orders that needs to be reviewed by the planner. So here I have uh, the next manufacturing orders that have to be performed for the following days. So I can look at them by either by clicking here, I have this bottom pane and I can go through all of them. So which item is to be produced, which operation, when does it start, finish, the duration, the quantity, but I can also review them uh, at a higher level from a plan editor graphically uh, using a Gantt chart. So for each work center, I can see what are the next uh, manufacturing orders. And for each of them, I have some information. So what material is consumed, um, what is the work center, the duration, etc. So the next thing I can also review is the purchase orders that have been proposed by Frepol. So Frepol is, tell is telling me that I need to uh, purchase the following uh, products. So I need to purchase the wooden beam uh, order for that date. I'm going to receive it one week later, this quantity. So if I'm happy with that plan, I can select the next purchase orders I want to move into Odoo. So I'm going to take the first four here and I'm going to export them into Odoo. Done. So similarly, I go to the manufacturing order and let's assume I'm going to uh, export the first four. Yes. Okay, so now, Let's go back to Odoo, but uh, let's assume now that I'm the purchasing, the purchasing person. I'm probably not the same guy as a manufacturing planner. I have my POs that have been exported by the manufacturing planner. I need to go through them and I need, because now they are in RFQ status and I need to make them purchase orders. So I go into these POs and I can then confirm the order. So this would be the job of the purchasing guy. Then now back to the uh, manufacturing planner. So I'm going to the manufacturing app and I'm going to uh, my manufacturing orders. So you can see here that I have the four manufacturing order that I have just exported from Frepol. They are visible here. So for each of them, the planner would have to go uh, into this manufacturing order and to check the availability of the material, which should be there because Frepol told you that you can do them at this time and Frepol has checked everything. So we're going to reserve the material and the planner can create the work orders. Once this is done, like we have another position in the factory, it's obviously the operator. The operator can go into the overview and see for a, the work center he or she is working on, what are the next work orders to perform and then he or she can start working on them, like analyzing the work order and start working. So this is how Frepol and Odoo are connected together. We have the ERP uh, power of Odoo on one hand and the planning capabilities of Frepol on the other hand. 